Um, <laughs> many patients with mold toxicity, Lyme and Bartonella, will develop, as we've been talking about, mast cell activation. Okay. But they may also develop limbic and vagal dysfunction so that most of the people I see who are very sensitive have limbic, vagal, and mast cell issues. If they do, that's what needs to be treated first. If you try to jump in and treat Lyme with antibiotics or mold with antifungals, you're going to make those people really sick and you're not going to get them better because first you need to quiet the limbic, vagal, and mast cell issues before they'll be able to take what they need to take to get well. If someone has mold and Lyme and Bartonella, I almost always treat the mold first. Okay. Um, couple of reasons for that. First, mold treatment is much less invasive to the body that when you're using long-term antibiotics, which we do for Lyme and Bartonella, there's a risk that we're going to mess with the, uh, with the biome that we're going to cause dysbiosis. And to avoid that risk, um, that's not going to happen with mold, with mold treatment. So I generally treat the mold first. 